Honestly, Ryan's not helping the situation because he's also doing illegal substances. In fact, both Ryan and Redman were arrested for possession. In 1997, Farrah walked into their Malibu home to find Ryan in bed with Leslie Stephenson. Ryan later said, oh, she was so young. She was more like a daughter to me. Ech. She leaves him, and then she sort of starts spiraling. She poses for Playboy. She's with a lot of paint. Farah was an artist. She goes on David Letterman. It's a little bit bizarre. People are saying she must be on illegal substances. Her people are denying it, but it had to be something. Then she dated James Orr, a director. This was violent. There was spying. It was a mess. In 2001, Ryan found out he had cancer, so Farah came back, and she nursed him back to health. In 2006, Farah found out she had cancer, so Ryan basically took care of her, along with her best friend, Alana Stewart. Get yourself a friend, like Alana Stewart. Alana documented a lot of Farah's treatments. She was going back and forth from Los Angeles to Germany, because they really believed that Farah was going to beat cancer. Meanwhile, Ryan's giving all sorts of interviews about how he's so sad. Give this man a chance to talk and he's going to spill some tea about himself. Hello, narcissist. He talks about how he proposed to Farah and wants to marry her. He joked about how he was going to look like a gigolo. He was going to put on a mustache and slick his hair back. And then he starts talking about her money. He acts like it's a joke, but he's like, we think she's